So, I feel like I have to do this. <laughs> so, I kind of have to do this. So, what is up, guys? Musical and here, so anyone's doing things with you, the chin stroking audience. And welcome to another drive through review. Drive through review. With my good uh, goateed buddy, Gizatine. And today we're going to go and see Clinton versus Trump, real civil war. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're going to go see Captain America. America! 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 Oh, wait, that's copyright. Whoops. So, have you been following the Marvel Cinematic Universe? That's of the two, Marvel and DC, I follow Marvel more. Okay, so you're like down with the jaunty crown of Civil War. Okay. I'm down for the shit. You're down for the shit, yo. So, you're probably a little bit more ahead than I am. I'm still on like Edward Norton's The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> No, I, oh, I, I, I didn't see the first Avengers. I saw Avengers Age of Ultron and thought it was like, <laughs> it was good, but it wasn't like, the hype was not real. And then, I've seen, I've seen Captain America, I've seen Thor. Have you seen both Captain Americas? Ah. Uh, both Thors? <laughs> I read the synopsis on <laughs> Wikipedia. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of excited, because we're seeing like a whole fuck ton of characters come in. Oh yeah. They haven't before. We're seeing Spider-Man. We're seeing Black Spider Panther. Oh. We're seeing fucking Black Widget. For, he's like a big shot in the Marvel Universe, but he's not on any of their advertising. Or like no. in terms of comics. Not like, really. He's got his own line, but he doesn't like do anything big with the other ones. No, because he runs a country. He's the king of a country. Yeah. He was born regular family in yeah, yeah. can't remember the place. Common peasant. No uh, there's not really peasants. Anyway. Okay. No, but not royalty. He was born not royalty. He wasn't born royalty. Okay. Um, to be king, you had to have a fight to the death with the best warrior and king. Ooh, damn. And he took him down and became Black Panther. Shit. And then he went to Oxford. And got a PhD in physics. In fit? Really? Yes. Why did? Okay. I actually have a dumb question, and this is just something I've noticed throughout Marvel. Why does everybody? Why is everybody super science, and there is nobody with a PhD in like philosophy? Physics applies more to superhero stuff than okay. philosophy. That's like. Visions. Okay, okay, but, but, this is one of those questions that has just been like, because I've, I've started reading some of the Marvel comics and stuff, I'm very much into, uh, that I'm, I'm into the symbiotes. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, I'm currently reading, uh, that short run Toxin. Um, oh, yeah. Which is really good. But, that constantly bugs me, is that I'm a doctor of physics, doctor of physics, doctor of physics, where are the doctors of other things? Like, philosophy... I don't know, doctor in education. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, after oh, boom boom, um, let me back into this first. Backing up, backing up, backing up. My dad tells me. God dude. fucking damn it! <laughs> you are the scum of the earth. Okay, so uh, spoilers. If you want to know our final thoughts on the movie. Uh, what our rating is, uh, if you should go see it or not, you can click uh, here, timestamp, edit in timestamp, future me, and uh, yeah, you will not be spoiled. So, big spoiler warning. Fuck. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. And people I, don't die. I, w I don't want to say I'm disappointed in that, because this time, I felt, there are a lot of characters crammed into this. We got 6v6, we got 12 characters. Yep. Two whose origins were stuffing in well, not really stuffing into one movie, um, but they're announced in that movie. They're given, I thought, fairly good motivation. No, oh, yeah. Uh, we've got Spider-Man, Spider who, who I think every moment he was on the scene, he was on the screen, he was funny. Which some people won't like. Some people like the more serious Spider-Man. I think. Yeah, but it, it, you were absolutely right. He was right in that like. I almost want to say he was like a little bit younger, like maybe like grade 11, grade 10 almost. Yeah, something like that. Because he, he was very, very much starstruck. He was very much still kind of that awkward pre-puberty voice, I think. 
in, in, well, in, in my right opinion. Of, mm. if, you, if you come right out of high school into post-secondary, yeah, you'll still be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it can go either way. It, it can go either way, yeah. But, um, essentially what happens, spoilers, last warning, um, he, Tony wants him for his team, Tony shows up, go, and they have actually some really cool back and forth. Yeah. Was, they have like a really good back and forth, I thought it was really good. Um. I thought it was nice. Yeah. And, uh, that comes around, and Spider-Man's down for it, and, you know what, his motivations were pretty good, he was that starstruck kid, he went back to Queens afterwards, um. T'Challa comes into the mix, or I should say the Black Panther comes into the mix, uh, through, uh, his dad gets killed fairly early on. Hmm, yeah. Um, essentially the whole, uh, fuck, ah, we're, we're in spoilers, I think we could talk the plot. So what happens is Avengers are essentially going through this, all the countries are like, well, you guys blowing stuff up, uh, we don't like this shit, you gotta be held accountable. So they're going through the... What was it? Sokovia? Sokovia. Um, I can never say it. I've never been able to yeah, say it. Yeah, it's Sokovia the problems were occurring. Okay, so it's called the Sokovia Accords. That's what the document is. Yeah, and it's like, look, here's what's going on. Uh, Avengers are going to be controlled. Da -da -da -da. Obviously, there's a big kind of split in opinion. Mm. Tony is very much okay. We need to be put in check, especially because... Uh, what I feel he kind of saw through the Scarlet Witch in Age of Ultron because he had that whole dystopian all the Avengers will die sort of thing um then Captain America is like well you know I don't think so and then Bucky comes back in Bucky's involved the Winter Soldier um and there's some cool stuff there uh he's framed for a big explosion at the UN mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of this driving force comes from this dividing wedge between the two uh, is uh, Captain America wants to save the Winter Soldier, Iron Man, and Morica wants to uh, take down Bucky, and then we have this big split between the two. The big thing, I think, for me, was it all felt natural. Yeah, it, it did. Like, like, you could relate with everybody. Yeah. Like, from the beginning, I was on Iron Man's side. Oh, you're Team Iron Man? I am Team Iron Man. You're team Iron Man. Okay. And, uh, like... Yeah, the Avengers, they're good, but Vision was right. With that power comes... Do not say great responsibility. No. Thank you. What did he say? Calamity. 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 With, with, uh, with, what is it? It was like, through power comes people to challenge your strength. Challenge your strength. Through that comes conflict. Through conflict comes... Calamity. Calamity, yeah. And he had like a, I told you so moment. Yes. Scarlet Witch. Yes. Uh, and, like, I can understand taking, having, like, that kind of thing and being able to regulate it, regulate the Avengers. Yeah. And I was fine with that. You were, you were okay with that? I was okay with that. Yeah. But I also agreed with Captain America. Okay. Where, what if... The people who are regulating the Avengers say you can't go there, even though there's a problem. Right. So I'm like, I'm stuck. Yeah. I I lean a little more to Iron Man. Okay. I personally, I'm leaning more towards Captain America, just because I'm a rebel. Like, but like it, I. I, I see more with Captain America's side. Yes, there's going to be risk in everything the Avengers do for themselves and other oh, yeah. people. Oh, yeah. But on the other hand, and we saw it a little bit towards the end there on, what was it, the raft? The big prison? Mm. Uh, where you can't trust the people who have the oversight. They'll do stupid things with half the information. Yep. Um, but, fuck, everybody was good in this movie. The, the people who needed to be there needed to be there. Mm -hmm. um, even the people who did need to be there were there, but in a good way. We got cameos from Ant-Man. Paul Rudd came back to play Ant-Man. Oh, that um, was awesome. And fucking fantastic. I thought the costume looked a little bit off, but on the other hand, I haven't looked at it in a while. Yeah. Uh, we, we got to see, not necessarily like the full skill set of Ant-Man, we got to see a little bit more. We got to see the big giant growth. Yeah. Which was the, fu the fucking fu the fight scene, the, the, the titular Civil War fight scene. Yeah. Fucking great! 
stunts. Oh man. Oh, oh my so god. That's so cool. The, the stunts of this movie, fucking kick ass. Oh. 10 out of 10, IGN. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, IGN. I think the one thing that kind of bugged me throughout the movie, and it was just this little, little, little notice thing that if, like, there's so much, like, there's a lot of stuff thrown at you in a good way for this movie, but it's just like this little, little thing, and that's Pepper and Tony have broken up. Yeah. Yeah. And keep in mind, I don't follow the comics. I, I'm not super duper deep into the Marvel Universe yet, but. I, I want to know why that happened. It was very much off screen. And yeah. with something like this, you get a lot that's off screen. But I want to know kind of why did the actor not want to be involved with it anymore? It, it, it Like, because it just didn't seem very... It was about as natural as you could get it, but it just kind of seemed kind of one of those like, oh, well, okay. Yeah. Time to go watch the fight scene. Like, yeah, like... It was very much brushed under the rug really quickly. Yeah, I, I don't even know about it. No? No. No. Did it bug you like it bugged me, or am I just an asshole? I don't know, like... It was just like, oh, Pepper's not there. I'm like, well, there's a huge void. That, that's no, what that like, It was like a third of Tony's personality. Yeah. Was Pepper. Yeah. It, it, it did bug me, but in a different light. Right. Now, what did you think of the villain? Whose name I... You know what? I can't even remember the guy's name, but, good but, good but, I think that's a good thing. And I'm trying not to fanboy, because I'm very, right out of this movie, I'm very much fanboy. Yeah. But, I'm trying to find the words for it now. He was, almost an everyman, made a one man. Yeah. Like, this guy's mode Essentially what happens is he pits the Avengers against each other. And that's what starts the Civil War, is he's pulling all the strings for this. And... He... His reasons behind it, which are... You'll miss it if you blink, or you tune out. And it's really good, I like that. Is because... They, in Sokovia, his whole family died. Like, his whole family died. Like, the Avengers inadvertently killed his entire fucking family. Yeah. Like, dad, mom, kid, they're all fucking dead. They're, like, like, they're super dead. Oh, yeah. On, on a scale of, like, dead to ultra dead, they're, like, mega dead. Mega dead. Mega dead. Fuck, I love that guy. I don't know the actor's name. Fuck, I love that guy. I want to see he more was, of that guy. He was good. I And I liked... I liked how... Um, the Black Panther dealt with him. Um, At the end. I like that. My only, my only, fuck, I love the entire movie. My only gripe, my only, like, little tiny, teeny nitpick about the Black Panther is I felt that was kind of rushed. Like, it's a two and a half hour movie. Yeah. You can't, like, cram it anymore unless you want people to take a break in between and come back for Return of the King. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I love the resolution for T'Challa, the Black Panther. But that little bit just felt slightly it rushed. It was a little, a little rushed. Um, I the the one thing at the end that really got me, and I'm not sure if it's good or bad. I'm kind of putting it in the thing category of good or bad thing. Is we find out what happened to Tony Stark's parents. Turns out, Bucky was sent to kill them. Like, kill them fucking dead. Yeah. And Steve knew. And maybe it's because I haven't seen Winter Soldier. I don't know that. It wasn't mentioned. It wasn't mentioned in Winter, Winter Soldier? Okay. So I got no idea where the hell Captain America figures this out. Captain America knows. Uh, and Tony Stark finds out. And he goes, Ape shit ballistic. Which fit the character. Especially in that time. Especially during that time period with everything going on during the course of the movie. Fuck, it fit that character to, like, a T. Oh, no, a guy a guy thinks we're in a cop car. He's not sure what to do here. Hey there, buddy. I see you got your gas cap lit off. You gonna be okay? <laughs> you gonna figure this out? Um, ah, no, 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 he's speeding up a little bit. So this, I love driving a cop car. <laughs> I think that was, like, my main gripe. Or my, my teeny tiny little nitpick gripe was some of the character development stuff. Yeah. felt rushed. Not necessarily forced, but rushed. Do you have any problems? Um, Story-wise, I think it was pretty good. There were a couple of couple of hiccups. Yeah. Um, I 
the, the one thing that really bothered me, yeah. and it it bothered me, yeah, yeah. was in the beginning when it was like all the all the action leading up to when they got together for this big civil civil war. Big no, it was the big meeting with the and signing the papers. Oh yeah 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 yeah. All of the action and the chase scenes, the camera was shaking. The shaky cam? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, God, this must drive people nuts. Okay, okay. I'm glad you mentioned that because I actually had totally forgotten about it and now I'm angry again. <laughs> and uh, like, the, the shaky cam, can we abolish the shaky cam? Can I Can I punish the next director that yes. says, shake that camera, bitch? No, like, there's, there's a good shaking, like a sh- good shake like this. Yeah. That's a good shake. Yeah. It shows a... Makes the shot dynamic. It but, makes but it. But this? But like this? Fuck! That's ridiculous. I no. know! I was sitting there like I can take in a lot. Yeah. Because of, of what I do and all this stuff. Yeah. But that, I had to focus really hard to catch everything. I still. I, I probably missed a, a lot. Yeah. I, there was much more shaky game than there has been in the past. It. I'm not sure if that's the new director. Hardcore Henry had less shaky cam. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, shots fired. Yes, yes. Clover, it was almost Cloverfield level. Yeah, that 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 shaky that cam. beginning bit in what was it, Nigeria? I got. Uh, I think it was it, some African country. No, that was Wakanda. Okay, that bit that was Wakanda. In, that bit in Wakanda. I, oh, in, Wakanda in, or Nigeria? In, in no, beginning. it was Nigeria. Okay, My thank bad. you. My bad. Uh, that bit in Nigeria at the beginning, the shaky cam was fucking all over the place. They ironed out some of it for for their action scenes, like the big superhero scene with where it's like Team Cap versus Team Iron Man. It's fucking there. They're it's, beating the shit out of each other, oh, and yeah. you can see it, and it's glorious. The the cameras were a lot smoother, I, but fuck, I'm trying to remember now because there was so much. Uh, a lot happened. A yeah. lot happened. There's a lot to this movie in a very, very good way. I feel... I feel like this is what Batman v Superman should have been. Yes. This... Because Marvel goes dark here. And not like, Oh, Batman, I'm going to kill everybody. I'm Superman. I'm going to kill my greatest rival. But, like, they go fucking dark. Mm-hmm. Like, really dark. Nobody dies, which I'm sorry to say. Don Cheadle gets paralyzed. Which it's, is pretty fucked. He... I think that'll take him out of commission for a long time. Mm. And uh, Tony will either have to, like, make cross... Not really prosthetics, but, like, enhance limbs for him to become the war machine again. Yeah. So we've got... It goes fucking dark, though, man. It does. Like, whole, like there's a lot of, like, good character development here. Like, we're starting to see... I don't know if you know about it. I know about it because I Googled the vision after <laughs> after Age of Ultron. Because I was like, who the fuck... Um, but that that relationship between the Vision and the Scarlet Witch yes. is starting to bloom, and it feels natural. Like I'm sitting there going, "Yeah, I ship this. I, think, I, think, I ship this shit." I think it was a little quick, just, just a uh, little bit. In, like, in relation to what we see on screen, I feel it's a little bit quick. I could imagine if you extrapolate it off screen. Yes. And, and I'm giving a lot of liberty to this because I hate I hate shit off screen usually. Oh. Like it drives me fucking insane. But this, I felt, was acceptable. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's... Like, I I know that in the comics, in the canon, yeah. those two are married. Oh, shit, really? Damn! I called yes. it. They get married. Okay. But, like, for this movie, and, like, before it, they... Vision and Scarlet Witch had no... Like Age no, of Ultron? Yeah. Yeah. There was no chemistry. Nothing. There was, there was no chemistry there. And then this one, they kind of have like... They have like a nice friendship and you can feel they're really close. Like a... It was like a closer than friendship, but like... They're kind of like, like uh, maybe... Like, like the real friend thing. zone. Yeah. Like, with a little bit more, this could be a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I... Ah, god damn. I... <laughs> this isn't a perfect movie by any way, shape, or form. But, but it's I, a good one. Oh, fuck. It, it was... is... Probably... The first good movie we have reviewed since Deadpool. And I know that's not saying a lot since we've reviewed four. Yeah. But... <laughs> damn! 
Damn, son. Yeah. Damn, was- Daniel had it again with the fucking white van. <laughs> <laughs> Not like really bad, but like better than Batman v Superman. Right. And I expected it to be more, like bigger, longer. Yeah. Well, that brings me up to the next point I was actually just thinking about. Perfect segue. Uh, now, in looking picture at the segue right there. pictures, okay. <laughs> uh, looking at um, what. Marvel's kind of released like these are the titles we're probably releasing. Yeah. They've got a Civil War Part 2 next year. Yes. Now, leaving the theater, it felt like it was like this is a full story. This encapsulates the whole thing. And it's less a Civil War and more of, well, differences of opinion. Where do you think that the Part 2 could be necessary for? Where could this go? That's a good question. Because, like, if you go and watch Civil War, which, by the way, I do recommend you do. Uh, do it. Do it! Little, little shy of me. Do it! Little shy of me. <laughs> but you watch it, it feels whole and encapsulated. Obviously, there's still going to be bad blood between Tony and Steve. Yeah. Um, there's... Not everyone feels the exact same way as they do. Uh, there's a lot of bad blood <laughs> between several of the characters. A lot of them are still going to remain friends, I think. I would think Vision Scarlet Witch is probably going to be okay. Hawkeye and uh, Black Widow are probably going to be okay. Etc, um, etc, etc. Et Tony and Black Widow are going to have a couple of tussles. Fuck, they are going <laughs> to... I want to see Black Widow v. Iron Man. I also want to see... The other thing that could happen is we might see Bucky return. I want to see what they... Because they've got this villain in prison now, essentially. I want to see what they do with him. But on the other hand, I'm not sure what they could do with him. But where the, where the hell are we going to go with part two? Like, where could we go with part two? I don't know. There's, there's got to be... Because, like, I, this, the scales here? Fucking hot. Part two? Literally, someone would have to die. Someone would have to die. And I'm not saying that Marvel hasn't done it before. Disney hasn't done it before. People have fucking died in Marvel and Disney movies. And, like, lately. Like, really lately. Really recently. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck could we go for part two? Because, like, stakes... I think... I think they'd have to... They'd have to pull something out of their ass for this. Okay. Final verdict, and then we'll move on into, like, nerdy, like, gestations. Okay. Okay. What is your final verdict? From 1 to 10. I'd, I'd give it a solid 7.5. 7.5? 7.5. Okay, okay. Why 7.5? Like, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't perfect. No. There, there's there's no such thing as a 10 out of 10 movie. I don't think. No. There are some flaws. Yeah. Um, I don't like how it was T'Challa's father just boom dead dead and that's how we got the title of King and Black Panther okay you felt it wasn't true to the character as a comic book fan I'm not even like a huge fan of comic books right I just I learn about the characters Mm. because I know we're going to do stuff like this and I want to know stuff like comic book stuff, comic book canon, yeah, and see how it translates to movies, see how the directors, the writers, and how they deal with it. Right. The shaky camera. That... The shaky camera? Oh, that really bothered me. I, oh, fuck. Oh. That drove me insane. I... I gotta go, like, a half point lower and go straight 7 out of 10. 7? It is a movie you definitely... Like, when I go above 5... That's a movie you need to see. That is a yeah, damn that is good, a movie. good movie. That is a movie that is worth your money. The reason why I go seven, like above average, is because it's a good movie. It's a good movie. But in terms of like technical awesomeness, that would make it like a technically perfect movie. The shaky cam and you know some of the rushed character motivations. And I wasn't a big fan of necessarily the ending. Which is... I can't say because we're in a spoiler section. But the ending felt kind of like, well... Everyone's okay after all! Woo! Um, and I guess they kind of had to do that because I think they've got Ant-Man and the Wasp. 
coming out before the next Civil War. Mm. Which, yeah, okay. So everyone's kind of okay. Um, that part of the that end part of the movie really kind of bleh for me. It went bleh. Yeah. M- much bleh. Very bleh. Very bleh. Such bleh. Um, but yeah, that's where that's where I'm kind of at with it. Fucking good movie. Oh yeah. Oh, fucking yeah. good movie. If you're if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a superhero fan, fucking go see this movie. Go see. Even fuck. if you like DC, this is a good one. Yeah, this is fuck. Yeah. Like if you're a DC fan, this might make you jealous of what Batman v Superman could have been. Um, but this really fucking good. It was good. I don't think you can like really um um, compare Batman v Superman you, and Civil you, you War. You can't. They're two... Because it's two people... Versus 12? Moral, <laughs> there's there's moral, even a 1% chance. Yeah. Moral reasons. Yeah. Civil War is ideals. Right. And um, politics. Right. Right. So it's... It's it, between a personal matter and a professional matter. Even... Even in terms of, like, pure technicality, you can't really compare them. They're so fucking vastly different. Like, there's... there's fuck, it's fuck. It's fuck, man. It's fuck. fuck. Fucking metals. Fuck, yo. But, like, <laughs> it, they're so vastly different. And not just because it's God versus man, blah, 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 blah. But because they're so fucking... So dichotomous. That's yeah. a nice word. I want to use that word. They're so fucking crazily different. And it's not, like, a bad thing that no. they are. No, Both no. movies have their ups and their downs. Yeah. But... One more downs than ups, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> they're very much two sides of the same coin, but Civil War is what Batman v Superman should have been. It has a lot of character. It has a lot of heart. It gets really fucking dark and serious, but on the other hand, it's... It does never ever gets too too dark like that yeah. morbid point of no return where you can't recover from that. Yeah, there's there's still there's it's got problems. It's got some problems. It's got some problems, but it's not it's not the worst thing you'll see this year. It's really fucking it, amazing. It is good. good. It is. It good. is really fucking good. Good seven seven out of five out of ten movie. Yeah. Yeah. So I think yeah. Uh, that's all I got. Anything else you got? Uh, yeah, that's that's all. That's all I got. All right. So go see this movie. Fucking go see this movie. Do it tonight. Take your Do girlfriend. It. Take your boyfriend. Take your child. Take your daughter. Take uh, take take your mom. Take, take your, your pop. Yeah, I was saying, take your mom. Take your dad. Yeah. Take you like your siblings. Go fucking go watch it. Go watch go it watch again it. if you just saw it. Yeah. What the oh. fuck you doing with your life, Carl? God damn it. So, what is up, guys? Musical and heroes. Same with doing things with you. A sexless audience, and welcome to another drive through view. Dri- drive through view. Drive through view with my good wow. buddy Gizatine. America, the only place that gets all of the superheroes, and it's just like, yeah, fuck it. We have too many superheroes. Let's make a fight. Um, we have two superheroes. Okay, we've got Wolverine and Deadpool, but they're like the same superhero. Uh, no. Okay, let me phrase that. They have the same powers, just one's on fucking meth. And is Which awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's saying it is awesome. And you're like, oh yeah, totally. I know who you're talking about now. Yeah, Wolverine, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the car. I'm finding another reviewer. No, you're not. No, I can't. <laughs> There's no one else in this town. 